about it. I'm on record. Can we stop this conversation? Anyway, the, my wife is talking about some other stuff, and I'm trying to record this video. This is for anyone who is considering installing an internal hard drive into the MPC Live, which does have its own hard drive, but it's very small. And uh, it, MPC Live ships with 10 gigabytes of internal sounds and samples and content. But we want to expand the capabilities of storage in the MPC Live. And uh, Akai has given us the ability to do that by having a SATA bay on the MPC Live. And it's ready to go. So I got myself an internal hard drive and I got a laptop style hard drive because you need a two and a half inch drive to work in the MPC lock. I went with a HD, H, uh, HDD drive. You can use an SSD drive, a solid state drive, but I'm going with a good old fashioned um, hard drive with the spinning disc, not the solid state drive. All right. Laptop type, two and a half inch. If you go out and get you a three and a half inch desktop drive it's not going to work so I'm going with a Seagate uh, they have other brands but I don't think a Seagate's ever failed me and the ratings are good on it so I'm going to stick with what I know and what has been best uh, in my experience and I got myself a little tool kit this is the small tool kit it has the different types of uh, screwdriver heads the stars Phillips flathead and all that stuff so if you're working on computers and things like that, this is a good thing to have. So, I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to uh, speed up the video so um, you can see everything that I'm doing and it doesn't take forever to do it. All right, so I ran into a little roadblock. Um, since uh, a Kai doesn't include screws um, to mount this thing onto this back panel, and Seagate didn't include any in the box, I don't have any mounting screws. So my wife suggests that that's probably because they uh, expect that if you buy one of these, you're probably replacing the existing one that has screws in it. And that's probably right. So being the from poverty and you got to improvise and make things work and the U.S. Marine in me, since Marines, we're very resourceful. I found this old keyboard and I'm going to salvage some screws out of the back of this thing and get this job done. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I come and did myself four screws out of the back of that old keyboard that I'm not using anyway. And uh, I'm going to get the rest of this install done with these. All right, so it's done. Now I have to take the MPC Live and plug it into my computer, put it into controller mode, and um, 
the computer will pick it up as an external hard drive and that's where I'll format it. Alright, I just turned it on and it's going to say uh, looking for computer. All right, and that's fine. That's what we wanted to say. Alright, so let's go back up to the screen here. And uh, we're going to go to, I'm on a Windows uh, 8.1, I think, is on this one. And I'm going to go to Disk Management. And that's going to pull up this Disk Management window. And initialize disk is going to pop up for GPT GUI partition table disk 3. So it's wanting to do a GUID partition, uh, and that's what we want to use, disk 3. But, you know, when I see something like this, I want to know, because there's no name for the disk, is that the right one before I mess up something? So I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to go over here, and hope you all can see this okay. So i got disk management, and uh, I'm going to actually scroll through these disks. So I got all of the disks here that I could manage. We want to make sure we get the right one. So I got this one is already, I know what this one is. That's my C drive. Then I got, uh, let's blow this up a little bit. All right. All right. Then I got this one. That's my Pro Tools sessions. Got my flash drive. And then I have down here is, that's the uh, MPC Live. That's got that 16 gigabyte internal storage. And that's what we want to get away from. That's why we're installing this di this uh, this uh, second disk drive in here. And I put a one terabyte laptop HDD drive in it. So this is the one we want right here. It's a thousand gigabytes. That is, you know, it's down to 931. You're always going to lose some space for a couple different reasons but we understand that so i'm going back up here to actions and i'm going to go to all tasks and i'm going to hit initialize disk now we just confirmed that disk 3 is the one that we want we want to initialize so i'm going to hit ok and that's going to take us through the process of initializing that disk all right all right so now we got to do this other part because just doing that is not going to get you there. So I still have an unallocated, uh, unallocated space on this drive, which is all of the space. So what we have to do now, I'm going to right click on it, click new simple volume, next. Um, simple volume, size in megabytes, I'm going to use the entire disk, hit next. I'm going to assign the following drive letter, uh, we're going to go with G. That will be next in alphabet in reference to the drive numbers that I have already on my computer. All right. I'm going to go with format this volume with the following settings. File system, I'm going to go with NTFS. And XFAT will be the next uh, option, but I'm going to go with NTFS. I'm going to stick with the default allocation unit size. Volume label. Let's, uh, I'm going to change that uh, to, I'm going to back this up a little bit. I got my keyboard stuck under here, so bear with me. So I'm going to go with uh, live. I'm going to just call it live for MPC live, of course. And perform a quick format. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uncheck that and hit next now completing the new simple volume wizard you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard now i'm going to click finish you can see right now it's saying that it's formatting and i have no idea how long this is going to take but i think it's going to take a long time so the npc live because it's standalone and battery powered. I just brought it down here and hooked it up. I may have to go upstairs and get the power cable, hook it up. Because um, this might take a while. Okay, so after a very long time, I'm talking about several hours. Make sure you understand that this is not going to happen quickly. The drive did format. And um, I have a one terabyte drive. So 
of course if you get a smaller um, drive it wouldn't take as long but on Windows 8.1 for me one terabyte was a few hours um, maybe for some people different brands of drive maybe would go faster I doubt it but that was my experience but anyway so I'm turning I had to turn the MPC off to dismount the drive just like you wouldn't just pull a SD card or flash drive out of your computer without dismounting it first so that's what I did going to empty project once we get into the MPC get it turned on and make sure the focus is good I didn't have auto focus on so bad with me and I'm going to click my menu button going over the browser going to places and hope that this drive is visible there it is got my internal storage my SD card and now my new hard drive that we titled live when we were going through the format process is showing up right there live I'm going to click that course there's nothing on it yet but it's there I'm very pleased I'm happy with that and um, now I can start saving information to it so that is how you install format and mount uh, a new internal hard drive into your MPC live hope it was helpful peace